everybody, so I don't really want to be one of those guys that just like hops on every bandwagon and does the challenges, but you know, if they look fun, I'll try them and do stuff like that. So you've probably seen the title of this video, which is going to be, I, I don't know, but it's probably going to reference something about um, jelly beans and birdie bots, um, famous jelly beans. So just a little history behind it, In when Ronald Reagan was in um, office as our president, or the U.S. as president, if this goes international, would you? Probably. Let's be honest, probably won't. <laughs> but, um, it turns out, he was the guy that invented, um, the whole Bean Boozled challenge. Like, he didn't actually invent it, but that's when Jelly Beans became actually really big, and that's kind of where the game originated, because the Jelly Bean companies were like, oh, Ronald Reagan loves this? And so they supplied him with Jelly Beans for eight years. No joke, that is an actual fact. So I'm doing this because I basically have the opportunity to, and since the new input of, not input, the new, the new Disney thing is Harry Potter World, and um, my mom went there because she loves to travel and she loves Harry Potter with my sister, and they came back and they always like to bring back gifts, and so they got like a chocolate frog. But they also uh, brought me this which, I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally just, uh, Universal Studios, uh, Harry Potter, uh, bag full of jelly beans. Now, they've had some, they say there are good and bad ones in there, so it's going to be, like, the Bean Boozled Challenge, and, um, I got some flat, uh, top stop, um, uh, Mountain Dew here as a palate cleanser, so having that said, uh, Let's just get into it, and um, I couldn't find a comprehensive list, I'm too lazy to guess things, so I'm just going to try and, um, you know, comprehensive list of all the flavors, so I'm just going to try and guess at them. So without that, let's get started. Okay, looks like it's going to be lime. Here goes. Mmm. 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 Mmm, that is like straight up asparagus or Brussels sprout. Mmm. Proof there is bad ones. It's not horrible tasting, but like, man, you don't expect, ugh, you don't expect that in a jelly bean. First thing I got was vegetables, joy. Let's see what I got. It's red, probably something spicy, I'd imagine. Okay, mm. start out as cherry. I'm s maybe I'm still getting some of the aftertaste of the Brussels sprouts. Not bad. Probably cherry. So I got lucky there. This does not look appetizing at all. Ah! Oh, it could be caramel. I don't know. Mmm, oh my god. Mmm. It's like... Sweet and salt and... Yeah, this is definitely like a very light version of caramel. Very tasty. I got milk, but we're actually all out of milk because, fun side note, I found I was drinking spoiled milk for two days in a row. And, um, that was no fun. No fun at all. But it does explain why I was a bit sick for a bit, so, yeah. That's kind of nice. But, uh, yeah, smell your milk, people. It sounds weird, but smell your milk because I don't, I can't generally smell. And, um, I just forget to, and then you end up drinking spoiled milk without even realizing it until it's really bad. Next one we have looks like it's gonna be lime. Looks can be deceiving. So here goes. Mmm. Mmm. It's not bad, but it's definitely like lawnmower clippings. Which. Mmm. 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 Please be pink lemonade next. Yeah. 
man, like, I don't smell things for, um, just reference, but, like, they nailed that lawnmower clippings thing. Like, it was a little off, felt more vegetable -y, but, like, when you, how I smell, generally, is I taste the air, so I kind of get hints of smell, and, which is why I don't go around sniffing crack, crap, not crack, don't do that either, it's bad, don't do drugs, kids, but I don't, um, I don't go around sniffing crap all the time, because you do actually, there's, um, I believe it's called synesthesia, where to, um, like, it's natural for all humans to have their nose and their mouth, uh, very interconnected and almost interchangeable, like, for instance, I'm more tolerable to hotter stuff, because my nose is clogged most of the time. And that kind of shuts down some of the sensors in my tongue because you do smell and taste at the same time. So that's generally how I taste, um, how I smell is I taste the air, so to speak. And that lawnmower clippings was surprisingly on par. So good job, Harry Potter thing. Let's hope this is pink lemonade because I could go for some right now. It's not pink lemonade, but it's good. I have to say cotton candy. Getting lucky. Okay, blue. What about blue? Mm. Yeah. I don't know about what it is about you guys, but for me, like, I'm a big fan of Mountain Dew, especially throwback. But like fountain drinks, I feel like, at least for Mountain Dew, it's watered down a little. Maybe it's just me, but uh, someone let me know if that's a thing, because I'd be very interested. Alrighty, here goes. but like, is it, it, I'm tasting like cleaner, just let me tell ya, it's no fun, okay, next one is green, looks tasty, looks, mmm, that one is straight up lime, that one is tasty, another pink one, I'm just pulling them randomly out of the bag. I'm not looking or anything. It's just right here. I'm kind of facing this way, so. Oops. About that way. So I can't really, like, peer into it or anything. I think one was the same one as usual. I'm trying to get a different color. Mmm. Okay, this one is green with brown splotches. Does not look advertising. But who knows? You can always be surprised. It tastes like a green lifesaver. It tastes like a, um, oh, what was that? Oh, it tastes like a green Jolly Rancher. That's what it tastes like. It's super tasty. Hello. My dog's here begging for some. You know, you'll throw them up and then I get to clean it. Yeah, you get to clean your mess. I'm gonna pick one. Let's try something else. Ooh. Yellowish, some brown spots. Doesn't look too exciting. <laughs> but let's see. Mmm. Well, I can tell this one's not good. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Ugh. Start out with like that vegetable y back taste. It just, like, got slowly more and more bitter. The first thing I want to say is, like, Brussels sprout mixed with, like, squash, which is not a good combination. Ugh. I need to drink after that one. Ugh. 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 Alright. Brown. Possibly chocolate. Hopefully. Uh-uh. 
honestly, that just... Oh, that's what it was. It is vegetably, but also had a tinge of something else that I didn't recognize, but I would bet it's probably related to the whole farm dirt thing in the Bean Boozled Challenge. In which I did look up a comprehensive list to get an idea of what I'd be doing, but who knows with birdie bots. Who knows? But yeah, that was dirt. Ooh, that was like bright yellow with some brown in it. like a mixture of I don't know how to explain that it's kind of lemony mixed with like a pepper or something I don't know it wasn't horrible it, it's weird because the minute you bite into them like the kind of like how do I explain it? like when you have corn nuts you know how that like air gets through your mouth Oh no, not corn nuts. But if any of you, well, maybe corn nuts do it as well. But they have this special, like, corn that's like roasted corn or something down. Uh, my sister went to Lima, Peru, and she brought back, back a bunch of these corn kernel bean things that are cooked. And they gave you really bad gas. <laughs> but outside of that, like, like you bit into them and then you just, like, the air just kind of, like, filled your mouth. It wasn't, like, compressed air or anything. It's just the taste and the dryness just kind of spread out. And they were really good. I really loved them. But anyway, uh, when you bite into a bean here, like, you get the air kind of spreading through your mouth. And that's how you can generally tell if it's a good or a bad one right off the bat. Because you get that, like, vegetable-y air if it's nasty. Or you get, like, the sweetened air if it's tasty. So I'll you'll see my reactions before I actually know the taste, which is what's happening generally. Okay, so we got a red one. Let's hope it's not spicy. I don't like spicy stuff. I like hot stuff, not spicy. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It's spicy. Like most people will. Mmm. Oh, it's like a hot to buy. Hey. Ugh. I will go through it. Mmm. Ugh. Hate. Sorry if this shakes people up. I hate hot tamales. Mmm. Now I'm positive in my book. Light blue is the next one. Ugh. Alright. Ugh. Mm. Did not like that at all. Alrighty. Now see. Now if you like it, comment below. But yeah. Uh, why you like hot tamale tastes and hot stuff? Because, in my opinion, opinion, <laughs> you're the person that voted to have hot tamales and beans, so you can't just free grab beans anymore. And that ruins jelly beans for me. So, you know, shame on you. Go, go eat your hot tamales, whatever. Tell me why you love them so much, and I might, might understand. Okay. First impression, chlorine. Ugh. Mm. Oh, goodness. it just gets worse and worse as you keep it in your mouth. First impression, chlorine, because I worked as a lifeguard, and it tastes very much like the air tasted it in the leisure pool with all the chlorine in the air. But then it evolved into, like, bathroom cleaner, which is three times worse. Now, my mouth tastes like the smell of bathroom cleaner 24-7. No, not 24-7, but like right now. It is not, not looking good. How do they even do that healthily? I mean, like, healthily? Is that a word? Let me know. I don't know. <laughs> How do they keep this healthy and, 
emulate the taste of frickin' cleaner. <sighs> Alright. Yellow and brown. Let's go. Sweet. Can't nail down. Wait. Couldn't nail down the flavor, but it's like a weird... That, that one was just weird. I don't... I don't know about that one. Alright, so this is my last one. Got pink with red dots. So, uh, having that said, uh, this will be my last bean. And, um, I'm stalling because I'm praying it's going to be a good one. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this. Um, and also, let me know what you guys want. More user feedback, more I will try and give you. Because I love to do anything and everything. And don't worry, the normal videos will be coming back. The gaming videos will be coming back. And um, the advice videos will be coming back. I just gotta do, do that. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to kind of go out of the way and do some challenges. So, uh, here goes. Everybody keep dreaming out there. And, um, you know, spread some joy and light and spread some jite around. I will catch you later.